Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, talk about my weight loss with um, after giving birth to Maze. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask me like, oh my God, what's your secret? And I'm not a professional. I, um, my boyfriend's a personal trainer. He definitely helped me, but there were some, and he's, he's trained me, but there's definitely been some things that outside of getting training that have really been a key thing for me. Um, one was breastfeeding, you know, I'm not mom shaming. I'm saying if you can't do it, no worries. Um, so, you know, I did the breastfeeding that was huge, kind of got again, most of the weight off, but then I kind of sat there and I was like, I want muscle. I want to feel strong again because I, you know, I can see where I just look, I look skinny, but I wanted to look strong too. You know, I wanted to be like, you know, I'm a, not just a, just a mom, I'm a fit mom. <laughs> um, but so, you know, and it's hard, like after you have a baby, you have stitches in places you've never thought you would have stitches. <laughs> and you know, you, your body doesn't feel n like normal you and you're dealing with postpartum. But what helped me when getting back into the gym and being healthy again was I never gave up on it. Times where I, f I failed. I've failed so many times between, um, you know, trying to eat clean and going to the gym where I would be so consistent. I was getting up early, going, going to the gym before work. And then I would have like a month where I wouldn't go or I would just eat like crap for like three weeks straight. But I always would pick back up or, you know, it's okay to fail and you're going to fail. I mean, I hope you don't, but I never let go of it. And I think that's a lot of people who I talk to who feel frustrated that they're not getting where they want it. Like they get frustrated and then they kind of like aren't consistent with it. Doesn't matter how many times you feel, keep, keep going, keep going back. And I get it. It's hard. Like I'm full time. I work full time. I come home and I take care of maids, take care of the house. You know, um, I try to squeeze in Spanish sometimes <laughs> in through the week. I try to have a somewhat of a social life, get to the gym. You know, it gets, your my schedule gets busy. So sometimes the gym for me, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm just tired. Like it's just, it's the last thing I want to do. And especially and more so even just like coming home and then running back out or even getting up early before work and going, I'm, I'm just like, I'm tired. I slept terrible the night before. It's hard. It's so hard. But I never, like I said, I never gave up on it and I kept going back. In finding other ways, you, if the gym isn't for you, run, go run. Or if you don't wanna run, walk, do a 30 minute walk. And, and that's even another thing is you can get on YouTube and Instagram and find tons of people who have free stuff out there. You can subscribe, my friend Amy is one of them. I, during quarantine, you know, like we couldn't get to the gym. I worked out to her videos. I used my boyfriend who was a personal trainer. He gave, he, I want to be honest guys. He, the first workout he put me through, I pretty much cried <laughs> by the end. He kicks my butt. If you're definitely, if you're looking for a personal trainer, definitely hit him up. He's great. Um, but back to, back to where we're at. It doesn't matter if you hire a personal trainers though, if you don't have the mentality to never give up on it, you're, you're good. You're never going to get there. You keep just, you keep just like, whatever I keep failing. I, like I said, I've failed so many times, but I never stopped. Um, another thing was is eating. If you ever heard any personal trainer talk or, or, or I'm sorry, nutritionist talk, you know, it's people who do that lifestyle. It's all about what you eat. And for me, anyone who knows me, you know, I love, my Chick-fil-A, my Chipotle, and I love some greasy cheeseburgers. Um, so I love my junk, but I have to balance it. So for example, what I mean by balance, if I know that I'm gonna, I, if I know I'm gonna have a crappy dinner, if I know I wanna eat some wings or roosters or something, I will make sure I eat a really healthy lunch. I'll, you know, I'll pack chicken and rice and, or, you know, some frozen vegetables or, Whatever I gotta do, just eat healthy. But then I have my crap food in the dinner time. And I try not to do it all the time. And it's 
kind of if you make a habit of it it gets it gets easier and i think that's the biggest thing is people kind of give up to before it comes like um a, a mindset because you say i'm going on a diet like you're automatically that's a negative thing in your head you're already like the even the way you're like oh i'm on a diet i can't like that sounds awful to me. Like you're on a diet, you sound miserable about being on that diet, but it's about balance, you know? And that's, a, I think it's a place to start. Like I wanna get better about eating healthy, but I feel like I've cut out so much of the kind of crap food that I used to eat. Like my house isn't filled with snacks and junk food anymore because I don't crave that stuff anymore because I kind of stopped eating it because I slowly kind of moved it out of my diet. You know, it's almost to the point that there's certain greasy food that if I eat now, Oh, it just ruins me and just like I just feel sick afterwards like it's delicious but I feel sick afterwards if I order it and um, uh, this is a kind of like something I feel like I repeat a lot in my videos and that's a community and this kind of can translate to many things but what I want to the first part I want to focus on is find people who inspire you find follow Inst Instagram fitness models follow on on Instagram on YouTube um follow health people that, who have like healthy recipes that they're going to share to their Instagram page follow them it's free information you know what I mean like there's some of these people like they pay, they make people pay for this stuff they're offering you for free on their Instagram page free you know up, like there I have friends that do healthy cooking episodes I have friends that like I said my friend Amy she does um you know, the fitness workouts and she does do some recipes or she has some cooking episodes on her channel as well. I follow, I've made some of those. I've done the workouts. So easy. So find inspiration. And also the last but not least part of this, find a hype squad. Uh, my friend Amy, my friend Myra, who is um, Bougie Bulldog, bo I'm sorry, Bougie Bulldog. Myra is from Bougie Bulldog. Uh, I think she's up in Mansfield. But she has like some of the shirts that I've worn. And then my friend Nicole, who does Dye Daddy. She's also an esthetician. Um, she does my, she did my eyebrows. I'm constantly like sharing their merch, whatever. And I don't get any of that for free. Like I pay. I pay them money to get the shirts and then the clothing. Um, but we're each other's hype squad though. You know, we're constantly get those people that are gonna sit there and they're gonna share it like, oh my God, look at my friend, like, look at, she's in the gym, I'm so proud of her, or hey, look at her story, or hey, look at this that she did, like, get people who motivate you. Like, I was in a dark place, I wanna say I was in a dark, dark place, but I was struggling in January this last year. I was going through just like some postpartum stuff and I was just sad, and then Amy actually was the one who told me like, you should start a YouTube, and I was like, you're crazy, like, why? Like, no one wants to hear me talk. And I ended up doing it and I was like, you know, I don't care if an Owen person hears me talk, but because I feel happy and I'm enjoying doing this, it makes going to the gym more fun because I am not going in the gym like, I'm just dragging myself here to get going. Like, it's part of what makes me happy. I look forward to it too in the morning. I like, I wanna get up early and get to the gym. It's like part of my life now. And finding like those people to share that with is, amazing like I love that I have my little hype squad that I know is going to share my story or be supportive and any way that whether it's just subscribing or sharing my video whatever it is it the support helps it keeps me motivated keeps me going so find your hype squad whoever that be be loving and motivational to each other so all right, well, that is my video for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, leave me feedback. I love hearing from you guys and have a good night.